Hello boys and girls. Please allow me to take the next five minutes to show you what a fraction is. Let's use this pie. This pie has been cut into five pieces. Okay, but before it was cut, right, it was one, it, it's, it still is, it's one pie, correct? But now it's, it consists of five slices. So I could say that this entire pie is out of five because it's out of five pizza pieces right but now let's say i were to say that two of the slices in the pie are strawberry slices we could say that two slices out of the five slices or two fifth are strawberry slices so on the top we have the part which is just this part and the bottom, we have the hole. Now let's say you're walking down the street and you look up at the light post and you see three birds, two blue ones and a yellow one. We can say that out of the entire group of birds, which is the entire number, the whole number is three, right? We can say that two of them are blue. So when we take our whole amount of birds, we can write that at the bottom number, which we call the denominator. The denominator is our whole. So we see that this is our whole entire group of birds, but it consists of three birds. So we write three. The top number is our, our numerator, and this is our part. So out of the entire group of birds, only two are blue. Out of our entire group of birds, which is three of them, only two are blue. So when we talk about fractions, we are talking about a part of a whole. Sometimes you might get a pizza, right? And how many slices of pizza can you eat? Let's say your pizza has 10 slices and you eat four slices. You can write that as four over 10. Your entire whole pizza has 10 slices. This is your whole. And you ate part of it. The part that you ate is four slices. So you ate four tenths of the pizza. If you were going to draw that on a number line, you could simply draw a line, as I'm going to do right here. You draw a line, and you draw zero on one side and a one. The reason you would do that is because a fraction is part of a whole. And this one is our whole. That's, that's, our, that's our whole pizza, that's our whole pie, or that's the whole group of birds, one group, right? We want to know how many out of that whole we have. A fraction is a part of a whole. So do you have a half? A half would be right in the middle, and we write that one out of two, right? Because there are two parts. One, two. There are two parts, and if we stop and we're counting, da -da 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 -da, and we're counting, and we stop at this line, we've only counted one part out of the two parts. You see? You could take that same number line and cut it up into many pieces. And we count the pieces. For example, this would be from here to here is one. So this is the first line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've taken our one and we've divided it into eight parts. If I were going to write that into a fraction, I would write the eight at the bottom, just like that. Now we said that the bottom number is called a denominator. If this is the whole, my whole, if I had all of these pieces together, I would have eight in total. So let's say I do have eight in total. And we're going to say that we have eight triangles. When we have all eight triangles, we have one full, set of triangles. We have eight out of eight, which means we have the full collection. We have a whole, right? We have the whole thing there. But what if I took one away and I just decided to take that one away? Now we only have, if you were to count, we had eight. I take one away. You count back from eight, one, we have seven. So now we would write that as seven out of how many spaces to have a whole? Eight. 7 out of 8. What if I were to take this one away, and this one away, and this one away? Now I only have 
four out of eight, don't I? But take a look at this. Really, if I were to cut my four right down the middle right there, I have two equal parts. What does that mean? I have this part that has four, you see? One, two, three, four. And this part that has one, two, three, four. Because both of these sides are equal, now what I can do is I can pretend that it's not out of eight. I can now pretend that it's out of two, right? It's out of two because I have two parts that are the same. And I have one part completely full while the other part completely empty. So really I have one part out of two parts. So up here we can say that four out of eight is the same as one out of two. And really, it's easy to see because how many fours do we have here? We have one of them, right? Just like that. And how many fours do we have in eight? We have two of them, just like that. So here's one four, and here's two fours. One, two. It's a half. So really, you could make this line out of eight, or you could make it out of two if you cut it there. You could also make it out of four, every two. You see that? Now I have one, two, three, four. And if I only have this much, I would only have three out of four. You could essentially make a fraction out of anything as long as you can continue to cut it. Let's say we could make it out of 16. Right now it's out of eight. So if I cut each one of those in half, I would get 16. 16 parts right there. So it would be out of 16. And if I cut it in half one more time, it would be out of 32. That's a lot, right? And it can continue to go up. So if I would only, if I only had this little part right here, I would have one out of 32. But if I had this part right here all the way up to the red, I would have one out of 16. But we don't say one out of 16, we say one sixteen, okay? Or one half, one out of two, a half. Or three quarters, three out of four, because now, let's see, the yellow would be one, two, three, four. Now it's out of four, and if I mark it here, it would be three out of four, three quarters, three fourths. And that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you today. Now. Um, please enjoy this video that will go over everything we just talked about. And this video uh, was not made by me. I found it online. Please enjoy. There were five pieces in one whole pie. The denominator of the whole pie was five. The numerator of my part was three as three fifths of the pie was for me. My mom made the apple pie out of Granny Smith's. She asked me if I liked it. I said, I plead the fifth. The numerator's the pie. on a telephone pole. The denominator three was the group as a whole. The numerator two out of the thirds described the two thirds that were blue birds. The numerator two described how many were blue then something fell on my head. It was bird poo. Bird poo. The numerator stopped Shots on the goal. Three went in, but one hit the pole. The denominator was all four shots. The numerator was the three goals I got. The other team's record had taken a toll. I got three points on my shots. Zero and 
and run Right in the middle is one Half and fourth is half of that A fraction's part you realize Have to be the same size Hey, we're late for the game Hate to leave you guys